A year-long investigation has led to human trafficking arrests in Macomb County. Police say the scheme involved massage parlors and spas, and the alleged victims were forced to offer sex acts to their clients. Sean Lay live tonight with a look at what happened to these women who were lured by false promises and then found themselves trapped. Sean? Well, they're, they're, victim, they're victims, Karen, through and through. The sheriff says being held exactly prisoner in the places they came to work from other countries. Now, these places, the spas, massage places, were lit, raided after this year-long investigation. Places like Livonia, Roseville. Two rooms were being rented here at MGM downtown. MGM Casino had nothing to do with this. The police had to go into those rooms and find evidence. Tonight, the Macomb County Sheriff says these are the faces of people that had been charged with allegedly having a role in the business of real human trafficking. They're accused of running massage and spa businesses across Metro Detroit, where the sheriff says after a year-long investigation found employees at these spas are forced to perform sex acts on customers, many coming here from China with the promise of a better life. Is this a better life to be forced into prostitution than living in the country there? So um, again, they're being held, they're here, maybe they're promised you know, a better life coming to America and, and then they're trapped. Trapped by having no way to get around, no transportation. They slept at the massage businesses, no pay, just tips for engaging with men who would add to the women's victimization by frequenting the massage spas for their own gratification. I asked Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lucido, what about those customers? That's a crime in, in, in our society and in our books of law, these are crimes and you have to catch the person in the act and sometimes making a bus doesn't always mean that the, the crime is being committed in, your, in the presence. So, I mean, who's going to step forward, to your point, and say, yeah, I did it? Not too many. And as a result, these investigations may lead to journals or, you know, uh, telephone numbers and everything for further investigation, which is ongoing. Ongoing indeed. No customers, we asked, were arrested in this situation. Here's the deal, though. Let's recap. The three women we showed you at the very top, all three had been charged here, but two are out there tonight. There are warrants out for their arrest. We also asked a lot of questions today, Karen and Devin, about the people working there. They're getting help, each and every one with them, from a group called Turning Point. We'll provide them with a safe place tonight. We're live tonight. Sean Light, Local 4, back to you. All right. Thank you, Sean.